I'm gonna go show you these species of turtles that we got here on the ranch, and they're absolutely adorable. Oh, oh. Bye, buddy. And they're absolutely very, very colorful turtles right here. And then over here, we got some beautiful little guys available. All right, you guys, welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, we have some very colorful baby little turtles here that we purchased and some of them that have been bred here on the ranch. These little beautiful little turtles will be available at an upcoming event coming soon, July 6th, you guys. But before we get into that, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go show you these species of turtles that we got here on the ranch and they're absolutely adorable. They're very, very small. We have adult turtles all around the ranch in different parts of the property but I've never really bred these little beautiful turtles before, but I wanted to be able to give some to the public at this event. So we're gonna go over there, and I'm gonna show you guys these beautiful little turtles. So let's walk over there, you guys. What are you doing? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna feed your fish. You're feeding the fish? Oh uh, yeah, this a little. Oh, oh, oh got him, got him. Bye, buddy. Oh, oh. He's Is that gone. it? He's gone already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so before I start talking about the turtles, we are freaking lining up with a lot of freaking tubs here on the ranch inside the patio. The patio is getting stocked up. I'm really starting to regain a lot of different species of turtles and tortoises back on the ranch that I lost because of the fire. But the barn is coming back into like processing very, very soon. Electricity, everything is coming very soon. And all these tubs are gonna be on rack systems all ready to go so they'll be able to clean very well they'll have lights they'll be prime little turtle environments and enclosures for every different types of species that i have here on the ranch right now it's a lot a lot of work here on the ranch because i have to clean and change waters consistently almost every other day because these things use the restroom a lot they eat a lot and when i have them over there in the barn they'll be all on automatic systems they'll drain right out with timers and everything of that sort coming soon but as of right now it's just a lot of work to get all this going until that barn is ready to go but that was just a little update with that what's happening over there. So right here we have this little tub right here. And here we have three beautiful different species of turtles inside of here. I made a little, a little uh, enclosure right here for them so they're nice and uh, happy and taken care of. I put a little bit of lava rocks in there. I put a little log in here. A couple little things. Some water lettuce so that they can eat if they want to. The reason why I put this so that they eat because there's one species that is in here. So right here is a little baby northern red belly turtle right here. And sometimes they're more yellow than red, but then we come over here and we go find one that's a little bit more red. Oh, not that one yet. We're not there yet. Right here. This is a nice more redder one right here. Kind of pink, kind of red. Beautiful little guy. These guys are probably about two to three weeks old, but they are already eating very well. These guys are herbivores, meaning that they eat a lot of greens, a lot of lettuce. So what I did is made it like a little natural environment right here. And they'll be able to eat some of those water lettuce right here. But people that purchased them, they would probably just eat different types of greens like romaine lettuce, dandelion greens, things of that sort you can find in the grocery store, nice fresh greens that these guys would eat if you guys are interested in purchasing some of these guys at the event at July 6th. These guys, really cool turtle. They're not like a radio slider. I think they're more colorful, more prettier, and I mean, they're awesome little species of turtle right here. But they get really, really bright red bellies right there. So another species of turtle that we have inside of here is this guy right here. If you guys ever seen Joey Slam's videos, he has a little snapping turtle named Godzilla. Well, right here, we will have some of these guys available. These guys are very, very, very cool little turtles. They're very uh, personable, and they'll come towards you to eat and things of that sort. They are carnivores, meaning that they eat a lot of meat. They're going to eat a lot of pellet of diet. They'll eat little beef hearts. They'll eat maybe little frozen defrauded uh, pinkies, crickets, mealworms. Any kinds of things that are protein, they will eat, and that's what they love. These guys are absolutely adorable. They're only about the same thing. All these guys are very young little turtles. They're probably around a month old tops, but look at that little guy. Absolutely adorable little turtle right there. He is very calm right now, but when he gets a little bigger, he'll probably be a lot more aggressive. But um, that's a common snapping turtle for you right there. And these guys will probably get to the, a female. Nice size female is about this big. These are a turtle that will need some work to take care of things of that sort, but it is possible and it will be an awesome pet turtle if you know how to take care of it and having a very large pond or a very large tank and make sure the water is crystal clear and they'll do very well. A bunch of rocks and logs and things, they'll do great. But right now they're in a shallow little bin because they can't swim too well. If they're in the wild, they're going to be in the like in the, the lilies and in the quick caves and rocks and things of that sort, hiding away from predators because at this size, they cannot 
get protected by that shell. They're gonna get eaten by other fish because if I threw that thing in there, gone. Peacock bass is gonna eat it. Um, birds are gonna eat this, other turtles are gonna eat it. But look at these adorable little turtles right here. Same thing, these guys will be available here at the event July 6th, the day in the wild at my event in Miami Winwood area. So another species of turtle we have in here, absolutely one of my favorites that I have produced here on the ranch and I have some that I've hatched already but I'm holding them back are pink belly side neck turtles. We have a female over there, we have a male over there. They're about this big, they only get about that big. The females get about this big, so this big is like eh, nine inches or so. Males get a little smaller, so like around five inches. But they're really one of my first species of aquatic turtles I've had here. And they're absolutely very, very colorful turtles right here. Look how light the backs are. Beautiful with the pink line around them. Pink belly, exactly what they're called. Pink belly side neck turtles. They keep their necks to the side, pushed in just like that. But then there's one in here that I found that is completely different. This one right here, look at that. Almost looks like a hypo, and this is like a complete normal colored one. Very, very dark, whoa, look at his mouth. Look, whoa, you saw that? Sometimes they can be a little aggressive, but they're just trying to protect themselves because they don't want to be touched. But look at that beautiful little turtle right there. Pink belly side neck turtle. Absolutely adorable species of turtle. And these guys as well are more carnivores compared to the red belly, uh, northern red belly turtles that are right here because these guys are more herbivores. They're gonna be eating all different types of greens and things of that sort that you can find out in the Everglades or out in the wild. But um, right here are some other species of turtles that we have here. And also, only for people that live in Florida, we have an endangered species that we'll have as well. And these are Indian spotted turtles right here. And these guys are absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They get eh, around 13 or 14 inches and they're right over here. These guys are more carnivores as well. And these are young little hatchlings right here. Beautiful little guys right here. But these will be only sold to people that have a Florida license in the state of Florida because they cannot cross state lines or go out of the country or things of that sort because they are an endangered species. But adorable little guys right here. We have a bunch of them over here. Let me find some more. They're all hiding. And they get a type of pellet of diet as well. Cute little guys, look at them. Found a few more. Set up their whole little thing. They can swim in a little bit deeper water, but look at those guys. I used to have some nice size ones that I was raising up for a few years that were almost six to eight inches, but I lost all those in the fire, unfortunately, as well. So I have a bunch that I'm holding back for myself, and I'm gonna be offering some of those to the public as well, so people can have some of these amazing turtles at their house to take care of as a pet. I mean, these are really, really cool species of turtles, and they're not hard to take care of. They get a little bit big, but they don't get as big as the African spur thighs that I have for sale too. Those guys are the third largest in the world. And they get too, too big, but those will be for sale as well. And then over here, we got some beautiful little guys available. These little guys right here are Eastern Herman tortoises. This is one of the best first pet tortoise, I would think, for anybody. They can live indoors. They only get about eight to nine inches tops, and they can tolerate cold weather. They can tolerate hot weather. I mean, they're a perfect tortoise all around because they can hibernate, they can do everything from up north to down south, and that's an awesome little species right there. And same thing with these guys, they will be available on that event. And then after event, there'll be monster fish bash as well. All these will be there as well. It's gonna be a really cool thing, you guys. Meet and greets, a lot of upcoming things coming soon, you guys, so make sure you just follow me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram to get updated with all the different types of information and things of that sort that are coming up with these all cool events. But um, I'll have care sheets, I'll have little, um, all the little ideas. If you guys have any questions, more questions, you guys can just text me. Well, not text me. You guys can see me there, and you guys just talk to me in person. It's going to be really, really cool. But, um, yeah, these are some of the species of turtles that we just got, and these are some of my favorites, like I said earlier, you guys. The common snapping turtle, pink belly side neck turtle, and the red belly northern turtle right here. Beautiful three different species of turtles right here. Absolutely adorable. Look how bright and red that one is. Beautiful shell. Look at that. And actually, guys, I completely forgot. We had one more species of turtle that we are gonna have. And it's one of my ultimate favorites, and it's one of my first turtle that I, I've ever <coughs> kept here on the ranch. And that right there, it is Central American wood turtle, or a Rhinoclemys mani. There's a type of wood turtle that stays very, very small. It's a species that I have over there that I've produced here on the ranch since one of my first turtles I've ever produced here on the ranch and it's the little wood turtles. These guys, my female adult over there is only about this big. It is one of the best turtles, I think, to take care of your first pet turtle, without a doubt. They don't get big, they don't get large, and they're very, very personal. They'll come running towards you. They eat absolutely everything. Fruits, veggies, protein, everything, everything, everything. 
and right here we'll have a few of them available at those events and I mean they're colorful they're beautiful they don't get big and like I said they're very very personable and they live in both land and water shallow water but not um, but not just straight dry stuff they like to live in the moisture area because they're from the Amazon from uh, South America and they'll live in all different types of environments so like a lot of mud and a lot of wetness and things of that sort but then they like to stay dry as well so it's perfect here in Florida for these type of species but if you wanted to keep one for up north or things of that sort you just have to make an environment that is something like Florida so you have to spray the uh, environment up have sprinkler systems so they get nice and wet and things of that sort but this is absolutely one of my favorite species of turtles right here we have another one right over here these guys are absolutely eating great nice and fat nice and healthy and I mean absolutely gorgeous gorgeous little turtles right here these are Central American wood turtles and like I said it's one of my favorite species of turtles here on the ranch all wood turtles are really all rhino clammies rhino clammies is the type of species of turtle that I love to take care of here on the ranch top knot I have three different sets of them over there all different types and those are just some of them I have a bunch more around the ranch that I just absolutely love they're just the species of turtle that I love to focus on here on the ranch the most but um again these are the turtles right here that I'll have available as well on July 6th. And look at them. Colorful, colorful little turtles right there. These guys right now are eating uh, all different types of greens. They're eating mealworms. And they're eating a little bit of uh, aquatic turtle pellets as well. Because again, they eat all different types of proteins and foods. Because they are everything. They're omnivores. They eat everything. But uh, yeah, so we have four actually species. Five aquatic different types of turtles available that we're going to have. And they're... Beautiful. So we have one more time: pink belly side neck turtles, northern red belly uh, turtles, Central American turtles, common snapping turtles, and Indian pond turtles right here. Really, really, really cool things, you guys. But uh, for today's post notification shout out is I don't know. I'm gonna find one right now for you guys and look through them all again because you guys throw so many positive comments all the time. Make sure you put a positive comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up as well. Past 5,000 likes without a problem because you guys we get so many views and the likes are not always up to the top. They need a bounce up there so get them higher all right so this positive comment has been picked from the video of the cleanup that we just did the other day you guys we did a giant cleanup if you guys have not seen that video make sure you go check out that video it was absolutely insane you guys i got a bunch of my buddies we went out to the side of a highway to a very large pond with a bunch of different types of aquatic birds that lived out there waiting birds and things of that sort and no one's going to go out there and help take care of that area so what we did is we got boats we got cameras. We went out there and showed you guys what everybody should do here on this channel is to go pick up pieces of trash because it needs to get picked up. And this person right here said, Connor, drink water. It says, much respect for taking the advantage to help clean up our planet. I'm a big fan of your work, bro. Keep it up. I appreciate it, Connor. And you guys put a positive comment down below and you guys will get the chance to get shouted out on my channel. Coming soon, we're probably going to do two shout outs on every single video because why not? We have so many positive people on this channel. The birds are talking in the background, but that is okay. But again, go check that video out, you guys, because we cleaned up a lot of trash. We still need to go back out there very soon and go pick up more trash because there's just so much out there. But if everybody, we have almost 415,000 subscribers, you guys. If every single one of you guys saw a piece of trash and picked it up, that would help every single day to help pick up all the trash that's out here in our world. It's everywhere. Everyone goes out there and helps the ocean out. The ocean needs our help intensely like crazy. But there's so much inland areas as well, ponds, lakes, and canals that I like more and that needs our help as well you guys that's why we do freshwater fish so those areas need our help you guys all the rivers all the streams all the lakes needs our help so make sure you pick up a piece of trash every piece helps you guys but um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video here on blake's exotic animal ranch give this video a thumbs up once more subscribe to the channel you guys and i'll see you guys later peace out everybody